on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. I'm marrying you, and then this is what I'm looking for in, in return. Whether I'm looking for companionship, whether I'm looking for you to satisfy my loneliness, whether I think that you being on my side will help me be, to become a better person because two is better than one, so on and so forth. We don't like the word transactional because we take it to mean something that we do at retail or we take it to mean something that we do as a result of Yo, I'm exchanging exchanging money for services, but realistically, transactions take place every single day that have nothing to do with money. Welcome to La Peef Let's Talk. If you're just joining us now, we're moving on to our second topic, which is, is sex in a marriage transitional? Is sex in a marriage transitional? Transitional? No, it's transactional. Oh, transactional. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm okay. sorry. Transactional. That's all good. I know what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I appreciate you guys correcting me because we can't we can't mislead the people that's listening. So I appreciate that. All right, so that was Charlemagne and Jasmine Sullivan discussing is sex in a marriage transactional? Nick, do you feel like sex in a marriage is transactional? Um shit, it can be. Um, I think it depends on the, on the people in relationship and stuff, man. The longer you with somebody, things may become stale, may become boring, and may become out of obligation. I don't know. I, I don't want no booty out of obligation, man. I want somebody to still want me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do, man. We all, hey, we all want to feel like we belong and people still invest in us. But, like, yeah, I think um, the longer you with somebody, it's, it's normal. For folks to, you know, for it to happen, maybe not intentionally, but I think that goes back to just really the conversation. If it is transactional, it feels like a job. That's why I hate the term transactional. That's what we talked about it in the earlier topic. It feels like a job. Sex shouldn't feel like a job. I know people talk about it in the vows. You know, you're supposed to have sex in order to please your mate. But the thing is, hey, if you got to force it, then there's some deeper issues going on. So the thing is, I would really lend toward it should not be transactional. If you do feel it's transactional, then I think that it prompts a, a conversation about whether y'all really need to be together or how y'all can fix whatever's going on. It's supposed to be organic, man. You know what I'm going to say. It's supposed to be organic. It's supposed to be real. It's supposed to be natural. You're supposed to enjoy it. When I think of transaction, I think of a job. And a job is something that I'm doing on a schedule because I have to in order to get my ROI, which is my money. If I need that in order to get off, that I got to have the schedule in order to make it an obligation, I don't think that it's sustainable. Kia, is sex in a marriage transactional? Um, I'm not going to say that all the time. It should not be. But we all know people are going to do, do more for you when you're happy, when they're happy. So I feel like if you know you want something, then you may... You may put all your into it so he can be in a happy space so you can get what you want. And so I feel like maybe that's what she means. I'm not saying that you're not going to take time to enjoy your man all the time or whatever. But I just feel like when that man is at his happiest moment in life, you may be like, mm, I want this. I want him to go ahead and do this or whatever. He may not. He ain't clean the garbage out or mm -hmm. took the garbage mm -hmm. out or whatever. He ain't did this. Let me go ahead and put some on him for a little bit and see if I can get him to move on and get, get this stuff done. You know what I'm saying? Cause they, I tell you, when they happy, they do. That's like with a woman. When she happy, she's going to do more, period. So that's my stance on that. <laughs> so is that a yes? Um, That would be a yes. Mm -hmm. So sex is transactional. <laughs> <laughs> Anton, coming to you next. Is sex in a marriage transactional? Yeah, absolutely. Every single thing that happens within any relationship is transactional because <clears throat> you're looking to get something out of it as a result of it. Even being in a relationship in itself, in most instances, is transactional. We don't like to look at it that way because, you know, we like to align ourselves based off of love and everything tied to the emotional aspect of who we are. But the whole concept of marriage in itself is transactional otherwise people people would just be with people and wouldn't get married at all so the marriage itself is transactional the very idea that you have to sign paperwork to be in a marriage makes it transactional you know what i'm saying so everything within that whole sphere of what it is that we're doing within the marriage yo i'm gonna make sure you're taken care of 
whatever. Like B. Nick said, he he used this term, but I don't think he really fully should have deep dot. Like I think he should have unpacked it a little bit more. He said ROI, right? I'm marrying you, and then this is what I'm looking for in in return. Whether I'm looking for companionship, whether I'm looking for you to satisfy my loneliness, whether I think that you being on my side will help me be, to become a better person because two is better than one, so on and so forth. We don't like the word transactional because we take it to mean something that we do at retail or we take it to mean something that we do as a result of, yo, I'm exchanging, exchanging money for services. But realistically, transactions take place every single day that have nothing to do with money. I'm doing this for you. You scratch my back, I scratch your back. And that's really, that's really what it comes down to as it relates to a marriage. Relationships in itself, by concepts, are transactional, 100%. Tawana. Is sex and a marriage transactional? Okay, I look at it like this. Humans, we all have needs. So, therefore, we all have to go through experiences. Sometimes we experience things that we want to continue to experience in life, right? And so some things give us more uh, validation, happy feelings than us. So, sometimes what happens is your partner caters to those needs that you have. So, therefore, like, when you're with that person, you feel like they, you all fulfill each other's needs. So you guys are, you know, that can be validating. And, you know, sometimes the needs can be superficial, but also it can be, um, you know, like my man, he believed in me, right? So these things, these things help me to elevate myself. So sometimes those needs are necessary, something that you're missing in life. So sometimes we look at love as a separate thing from transaction. But it really is the same thing. Like we're all giving and receiving in those types of situations. So I do think that, yes, you know, sex, I don't think the sex just in marriage is transactional, but sex in general, it can be a transactional thing because sometimes men, you know, they put it on you so you can do things for them. And then, you know, same thing with women. So we all use sex. Um, to get what we need or get what we want out of a relationship. So in that regard, and not all of us, I'm not saying all, I would say this most, because okay? I know some people are saying, no, I don't do that, I don't do that. Okay, fine, I don't want to define everyone. But I do want to say that for the most part, and just what I've seen and what I've noticed in relationships, it is a transactional thing. And that love, and it doesn't, um, make, it may, doesn't make your love any less valuable. It doesn't mean that your love isn't real. It doesn't change the way you love that person. And I think that's what happens sometimes people when they say transactional, they always say, well, because it's transactional, that's not real, right? You all don't have that bond, but that's not true because it's just a natural thing that happens in our relationships. So, yeah. Well, I think I think y'all gave a good point. Actually, I, I appreciate y'all rationale. I know for me, when I think of transaction, it's like an exchange of goods, of, of change of services. To me, it removes the emotion part of it, right? Or the feelings behind it, right? It's just something you do, right? It's like we traded baseball cards or something. True. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. And that's why I still say that to me, it feels more like a job because at work, it's work. It's just something we do. Yeah, it's but not the, necessarily but... about how I feel about you, whether I like you. I'm doing this because that's what I'm supposed to do. The thing is, in a relationship, for me, you could, and maybe I'm playing on words. Maybe you could call it collaboration, partnership, or whatever. Uh, That's a better word, though. Collaboration. I speak from. Oh, you guys breaking up but labels? I think it's something that when I think of transaction, it removes the organic piece. The fact okay, that the yeah. ROI, but I mean, that it makes me feel good knowing that you feel good about it. To me, but transaction all, removes the feelings. But all transactions are. I don't really like them labels, now. right? <laughs> right, like even if, if even if I'm exchanging hey, baseball cards, I'm a, I'm a psych person, man. Got to understand. But even if I'm right. exchanging baseball cards, like I'm exchanging it because the one that I'm getting back make me feel good. Like the act itself, but it's not, right? But it's, it's mutually agreed upon. The thing is, if I'm exchanging baseball cards, I don't even care. Nor do I want to know why we're exchanging goods. The thing is, that's why I feel like things that are mutually agreed upon. That I know both us can get some type of. Uh, the ROI that may go beyond just exchanging services, because that's how I interpret transaction. It's exchanging but, uh, goods for services. That no, is that me. Is, that's that a little different true. than a uh, pimp and a hoe, right? Or prostitute. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, like, me. I'm, yeah. I'm exchanging my goods to service you and make you feel good, and in return, 
you're exchanging your goods to make me feel good and service me also. Like, yeah. I don't care how you yeah, flip I it get or it, spin it. I almost want to agree with you, but you know it bothers me, like, just the... <laughs> <laughs> it's very a raw it's the way he worded it, right? It's the, way, it's the way he said it, right? <laughs> but I'm, but I mean, I even, like if you, you even if you take out of it, like, because I know a lot of people describe it like, yeah, I might yeah, give him a little bit truth. something extra in order to make him, you know, do something extra. All like, right, the, the, the very act of sex itself is we're going to do this because we're going to make each other feel good. Like, that's exchanging what it is that we have to get what we want. That's a transaction. That's the very de definition of a transaction. Well, I had made the comment before, like with women, we definitely want to feel desired and wanted. And I said before, like just grabbing her booty or just sitting there making her feel loved or whatever, you putting that effort being intentional with her, you're going to get a result. You're giving her something and you're going to get a result. So the same thing, like if he, he lays it down, I may get up and sit there and cook a five course meal. You know what I'm saying? I may feel like this is it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to trash this time. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me go ahead and get the line. You know what I'm saying? So it is definitely an exchange. And you do things with purpose, with intent. I'm doing this to make myself feel good, for one, and also to make you feel good. And you may, you may do something that I want you to do just because I did that. That's okay. That's just okay. The only time I have a problem with it is when people feel like they have to do it in order for that person to stay with them. And, yeah. and, and that, is, that is, is what that, happens. Is it, is it a positive ROI? Is there like, right. is that good? Are all transactions good or can they be bad? Okay, so let me ask you a question, OB Nix. Would you be in a relationship that was completely sexless? No. Nah. Well, that should answer your question right there. Well, people I do think, things out of obligation, though, too. There are a lot right. of unhappy people that's in a relationship because they think it's a trans that I have to do this out of obligation. You do have to do it. You have to have sex in a relationship in order to be able yeah. to satisfy that relationship. What you talking yeah. about? That's exactly no, what No, there are people say. who have sex that really don't want to be with the person. I mean, that's a completely different dynamic, but I'm right. just saying in hey, general. Hey, we're putting it all on the table. So we got to Yeah, let's put I mean... Sex. But at the same time, in every circumstance, regardless of how we look at it or how we frame it, whether we're doing it to make ourselves feel better as a result of it, as far as I'm getting something out of it, or you can say that, like, for example, it's a movement that's being empowered as far as like empowering women and sex work, right? Like we shouldn't look at women any worse just because they decide to align themselves in sex work in certain industries. And it's a, it's a big movement going on, right? So if we're aligning ourselves as as a society to continue to say, okay, there's nothing wrong with this, or we shouldn't look at this person any differently, them exchanging goods and services for sex is the same thing that you just defined as far as I need to do it in order to stay with this person, because obviously they're getting something out of stand with this person in the same respect or in the same regard as this person that's doing it transactionally for money. It's the exact same thing. Well, you brought the conversation about obligation, and I feel like when you are in a relationship, it is an obligation, or don't be in a relationship. So even if you don't feel like it, you may feel like I don't feel like it, I'm in my mood, then hey, to me, it is an obligation, because that's, that's, that's what you signed up for. It's like you have to go to work, you have to go, you have to take care of your business and your family. That's just how I feel about that. Um, yeah, I mean, well, I think it's the sustainability of it. Like, you may do something out of obligation, but I admit, I'm not going to continuously do something I don't like doing in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, a lot of people don't. Long, to do when is the window when you say, you know what, I'm tired of this transactional relationship, right? Now I'm tired of doing something yeah. because I just have to do it. Because the thing is, right. I don't care who you are. It's like going to school, right? As soon as we yeah. get to the point in our life where we don't have to be obligated to go to school at the age of 16, guess what? We don't go. So that's we not can't true. Sit up there and that's act not like true. We just, do, we just live our lives out of That's not true. Well, well I not true. <laughs> I guess you mean not go. There's plenty of people that go to school for a long time in their life and yeah. don't want to go. And that they have to they get happy? something out of it. They, they don't want to go, but they understand that I need to do this in order to get what I need to get in the long run. There's yes. plenty of people that do it every single day. Bro. I think that we actually hey, more hey, Nick, you're the only one disagreeing. Everybody, I think everybody on the panel right now agreeing. You're the only one disagreeing. You've been stubborn. I, right I didn't now. know I was allowed not to disagree, JR. I admit, I said, <laughs> well, you do got some good points. I, I do understand. 
my perspective, you got to jump in and say, like, oh, well, you shouldn't disagree because Anton and Tawana said this. You think I care what they say? This is my opinion. No shade to both of them. Let me, let me tell you. Guess. And, and See, your opinion is that. on some rah-rah stuff whenever I go against the grain, like I'm not supposed to. Your opinion, your opinion is valid. Phoenix want to be mis- he want to be massaged into it. He want to feel good about his <laughs> transactional <laughs> obligations that he got to do on a daily basis. We get it, Phoenix. We want to make you feel good. I do. It's just like putting on an outfit. I want to feel good about what I got on. You see, Jr. put a lot of time and effort into feeling good about his transaction <laughs> purchase. So man, don't it's come natural, man. It's, like, it's, you folks man, it's sit up here with bummy man. clothes out of come on, it's drip natural. You got the money. You want to feel good about how you look. Get out of here. <laughs> This is funny. I mean, you have a point. I think the problem with the word transactional is just sounds simplified, right? Like every action you're just doing out of obligation or something. I, so I get where Phoenix is coming from, but I don't see it that way. I'm just looking at it for what it actually is. It's like we're fulfilling each other's needs and giving each other what we want. And I guess if, if that's not happening, then there's a problem, right? Like if somebody is not getting some of the things they want. And that's why the right. breakdown in relationships and marriages yeah. happen because there's one side who's not being fulfilled in some way, right? Mm-hmm. Or maybe your needs have changed and now you want something different. And so your transaction or things that he used to do for you is no longer fulfilling you, right? So then mm-hmm. what she used to do for you is no longer fulfilling you. So then the breakdown of that, and when people start just analyzing it for what it is, then you can you know, keep that longevity, I think, in relationships. I think that's a good point, Tawana. Great point. 